Are you ready for some good news? First up, scientists have found a protein that could help to heal spinal cord injuries. I was going to whisper the whole time, but the hell with it. If she wakes up, she wakes up. The protein was found through a study of freshwater zebrafish, a species with the remarkable ability to heal itself after a spinal cord injury. When a zebrafish suffers such an injury, cells around the injury begin to regenerate, and within eight weeks, the fish is swimming again, its paralysis completely reversed. Scientists at Duke University and the Max Planck Institute for Heart and Lung Research conducted a study of zebrafish which concluded that the key to the fish's regenerative capabilities is the protein CTGF, or connective tissue growth factor. We humans produce our own version of CTGF, which was also able to induce zebrafish with spinal injuries to regenerate. The next step is to determine why zebrafish with CTGF are able to heal spinal injuries, while mammals, like humans, with CTGF are not. Thanks to this research, the next few years could be very exciting for those hoping for an effective treatment for spinal injuries, which affect hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. The study is published in the journal Science. Here's some more protein-related good news. Scientists have found that removing a key protein can reverse insulin resistance. The protein is called GAL3. It binds to cellular insulin receptors, blocking insulin from attaching to cells. Insulin is the hormone that enables cells to absorb glucose from the blood. If insulin is unable to bind with cells, blood glucose levels can become dangerously high. Insulin resistance is a major part of type 2 diabetes, which affects nearly 30 million people in the United States alone. Working with a mouse model, researchers at the UC San Diego School of Medicine found that by blocking GAL3, they could return insulin sensitivity to normal. This makes it a promising target for future diabetes therapies. GAL3 has also been linked to heart and liver fibrosis and fatty liver disease. Just think how much good could be done by learning to control this one protein. This study is published in the journal Cell. And finally, in non-protein related news, psychologists may have discovered why certain songs seem to get stuck in our heads. We've all experienced earworms, songs that repeat endlessly in our minds long after we've finished actually listening to them. Often it's not even a song that we like, but for some reason it stays with us. Now researchers at Goldsmiths University of London may have identified why particular songs become earworms. The crucial characteristics of an earworm seem to be a common melodic shape, that is, a song with a melody that follows a pattern we're familiar with, and an unusual interval structure, that is, the song contains unexpected leaps or bits of repetition. The researchers also offered some advice for getting rid of unwanted earworms. They suggest distracting yourself with a different song or, strangely enough, engaging with the earworm song. Many people in the study reported that the earworm went away after they listened to the song intently all the way through, rather than trying to ignore it. The study is published in the journal Psychology of Aesthetics, Creativity, and the Arts. One protein is found to be the key to spinal cord repair, another protein is found to be the key to insulin resistance, and familiarity and a bit of the unexpected are found to be the keys to earworms. That's the good news. Would you look at that? She slept through the whole thing anyway. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.